It's Tuesday. It's happy. We're playing the game again. Um, we did have to stop abruptly last time. Hope that was okay. Um, needed a had some car trouble and they needed to get out and uh, go pick up their their GF and she was waiting. So got to do some car stuff. But I have no idea what we're talking. We're talking about going to the next one because we are here. Perfect. Well, I'm out. Later. With a lazy wave of his hand, Dio slouched off toward the magenta door. It took me a moment to realize Kay was following him. Hey, what is this? You following me? No, you must be mistaken. I hope to investigate floor B further. There are still several rooms I haven't visited. Okay, okay, you don't have to tell me your life story. See ya. Getting that water all down my, my stomach. The conversation ended as they reached the door and stepped through it. Because I'm glad it's just water, though. <laughs> Imagine if I filled up this gigantic tank on the back of my chair with something that wasn't water. <laughs> all right. What should I do? Yeah, the... that eclipse, remember? What a way to end 2028, huh? Hmm... I need to get the rest of that story out of Ten Miyoji, so we have to find him. And he's in the infirmary, probably. The words were scarcely out of my mouth before I set off at a dead run to the hallway and towards the infirmary, because I talk to myself out loud all the time. There's nobody here. The room was completely empty. I edged forward and peeked around the partition. There he was. Ten Miyoji. He was standing next to Cork, apparently oblivious to my presence, so looking down at something in his hand. A picture? I must have made some small noise because he suddenly looked up, saw me, and hastily shoved the photo back in his pocket. What was that? It's a photo of something, right? Was it yours? Forget it. It's got nothing to do with you. Uh, but all the stuff we had with us when we got grabbed was taken away. Why were you hiding it? Why should I tell all of you about one measly photo? Um, anyway, where's Luna? I asked her to leave. I wanted to be alone with Quark for a bit. So, why are you here? Uh, I wanted to hear the rest the of rest that. Of what? What the hell are you talking about? Talking about that simulated man mission to Mars? We heard that recording about it? Have any idea what you're talking about? I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. I seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff lately. Nice try, but you're not getting away with it. You remember something, alright. You remember so much, you told me it'd take way more than ten minutes to tell it all. You really sure you want to know? Yeah. Maybe I'll tell you, and then you'll regret it. Maybe you'll wish you'd kept your full mouth shut. Just think about all the hopes you've got for the future, and all the happy memories of your past. What if what I have to tell you makes everything you've ever believed ring hollow, and the whole world just crumbles around you? It's not you worse sure than being a robot. That? Come on, you don't need to threaten me. This isn't a threat. I'm being honest here. Are you really, truly prepared? Well, sure. Eh. I never got the chance to say I am. Someone came in with a machine gun and started shooting everybody. Before I could, Fi exploded into the room, her face a mixture of anxiety and fear. Good. There you are. Did something happen? Alice. Alice is... Look, just come with me, alright? She's in the number two cabin. She always dies. Without waiting for a response, Fi spun around and ran back out of the room. Tenyoji and I exchanged a quick, confused look, then leapt up and took up after. I wonder if there's an ending where she doesn't die. Don't answer that. There's the scalpel. I wonder if this one... If Clover gets infected. The first thing I saw when I stepped through the door was the blossom of red in her chest. It felt as if I'd walk straight into a brick wall. I stopped short, my body refusing to move. 
No, why did this happen? It's total shock. I forced one shaking foot forward, then the next. My legs began to buckle, and I put a hand against the wall to steady myself, as my heart thundered in my chest. Ochitute. Ochi sweet day, I think is that it is. Anyway, stay calm. Joy, happy Tuesday. This looks pretty bad, but you don't know actually anything yet. That's right. Maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can save her. How joy of joy. Thank you for the cheer, Joy. Then at last, I pressed my fingers to her neck. And the hopes were, of course, dashed. No pulse. Clearly, she wasn't bringing either. Her pupils had dilated hideously, making her face seem somehow inhuman. No! No! Why? Then I noticed it. A blood... All the blood must have distracted me, but... Now I saw there was a scalpel buried in her chest. Judging uh, by the position of the handle, it had been stabbed through the heart. Yeah, we, we did. We had to check for the pulse. Despite the thing sticking out of her chest. Her ample chest. By the way, this is barely sticking in there. There's like this much of a scalpel. Pre isn't the heart behind more than that? Pre pretty sure. Skip, happy Tuesday. Am I casting the... Uh, yes, I let them know that I will be a cast, cast member of... Um, the second season. I just need to know several days in advance. I'm also going to be casting some stuff for the Owlet, but it, those will be more likely during the week. And um, OCC will be mostly during the weekend. So when I understand how their schedule works. I'm not... What's the word? I'm not a one-caster man. All around the room, the rest of the nunnery game participants, except, of course, for Quark. I wanted to ask which one of them had killed her. Hmm. Hmm. Even if it had been one of them, though, there was no way they'd answer. All I could do was stare at each one of them in turn, asking myself, is this the murderer? Is this, is this person a killer? Ooh. Oh, thank you, Skip. Yeah, we're hoping uh, Julik, Rambino, and I have been talking about it. Um, we'll see how that goes. Also, our, like... You just watch? Do you play? I don't remember the name. Skip. Looks like a traded one another suggested that I wasn't the only person wondering if they were standing next to a killer. An unsettling silence filled the room. Clover was the first to speak. Who? Who did this? You had the scalpel. You're the, at least I think it was in this timeline. I think in this timeline she was the last one to have the scalpel. Say something. Answer me. Please, Clover, calm down. Oh, and look! She's actually frowning. Finally. We don't even know if she was killed. Then what happened? An accident? You think a scalpel just dropped from the ceiling and stabbed her? At the perfect angle. Cool it, kid. You did it, didn't you? Are you nuts? Then who did it? Who killed her? Clover. Even if we assume that she was murdered, you played. It cool. doesn't necessarily mean the killer was one of us, does it? Wait a minute. You went into the A B room with Alice during the last round, didn't you? Something happened in there, didn't it? No, nothing happened. Don't lie to me. There's no way Alice would just run off like that. She wouldn't leave me. Something okay, skip. Happened. If cool. she was going to leave, she'd tell me. Keep an eye out this time. She. She... Hey, Clover. Don't you think just assuming Alice was murdered is jumping the gun a little bit? How can you look at her and say that? Scalpels don't just stab people all by themselves! We got the hands next to it, it's kind of like... Oh, I see. I see. I get it now. Yeah, I agree with Joy. All in on it. If we were going to kill ourselves, it wouldn't be that, but... It wasn't just one killer. To be fair... To be fair, it, it you don't have many options here in being locked in a wherever we are. You finally find something that's sharp, you'd go for the heart versus your throat because your heart would stop beating and you would just die. No wonder you're so anxious to say this wasn't a murder. Clover, please just settle down. Huh. Fine. Huh. 
Show me some proof then. Prove to me in 10 seconds that you didn't murder my friend. Or I'm going to kill every last one of you bastards! Not again! You're all going to die just like she did! Hey, hold on Nine, a minute. Eight, seven, Clover, six, five, four, Clover, three, two, one! Murder spree! Axe ending! Oh, an ending we can't do yet. Awesome, awesome. So we don't have we need more uh we need more clues. Awesome. Okay, 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 okay. Uh cool way to start. Yeah, she would she would definitely hurt herself. That'd be great. Uh we're gonna hit betray on here and go down this other route. Because Clover's making us a, a... Yeah, she's gonna be all nice and, like, seductive. Even though she's, like, she's legal, but still, it's really gross. Or at least it's very Japan. Like us, there's more to them than meets the eye. Hey, man. Hey, Steed. Very happy Tuesday. Thanks for doing Maybe nine beautiful months, two. man. Of the Truly appreciate it. Enjoy your nine month badge. Displayed. You're a boss. Please direct your attention to the results. Hope you've been doing well. So Clover's this is a, I think this might even be a short one where Clover just leaves. Points, please. Going well. So, that's how it is, huh? Promises are made to be broken, I see. <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't bring myself to trust you. I could have chosen betray and killed you. That was a possibility. Yeah. After all, you did choose betray in the last round. It was a completely different situation. Nah. In any event, your idiotic paranoia has given Clover 9 BP. How do you intend to deal with that? Don't worry. She'd never try and open the... Really? Then what's that? Look, I believe she's standing in front of the number 9 door right now. No way! Are you telling me she's like... She like lied to me with like her face and stuff? Like, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go get help. Bye. Probably. I don't know. Oh, the number nine door. She opened it. Shit. Oh, we know what's up there one time. Clover! What the heck are you Sorry. doing? Alice gave me an order, though. Clover, you have to get out of here and call for help. My BP's down to one. I'll have to play the AB game at least three more times in order to get to nine. If someone beats me to it, then we'll be trapped here forever. That can't happen. I'm giving you an order as your commanding officer. Ooh, commanding Escape. officer. And use your feminine wiles to make it worth it. Promise? You said you listened to anything I said. So, I am, aren't I? I can sure hear you well enough. Every little word is reaching my ears, isn't it? What? Were you thinking of something gross? Yes. You're a perv. So? Guess I'm honest about it. Several animes tell us there's two different kinds of pervs. The closet perv and the open perv. And which one has a better life? What's well, open about the it. Number nine Don't hide who you are. Has been open. It will remain open for nine seconds. Also in Sism, Happy Tuesday. Anyway. I did what I promised, so I'll be heading off now. Clover! Clover! Fucking bitch! You're not getting out of here! Dio, that was rude, man. Dio leapt toward Clover with a roar, but she danced quickly aside, dodging his punch with ease. Bye, guys. 
With a last carefree grin, she left through the number nine door. I wonder if we'll get any information out of this one. Yeah, they stop me completely. Everyone else just gets out. That's a good point. <sighs> now, they didn't stop me, Dio, and Fi the one time. The number nine. This end. Thank you. As the escape, please. In Let's see if we get any more info. She's gone. Not Shit. with that music. Well, all we can do now is wait for her to call for help. Help, huh? Let's hope there's still someone who can. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, he knows a lot, dude. Tenjuyoji said nothing, just shuffled off through the yellow door and out of the room. Do their bracelets fall off now? A cold silence descended on the rest of us. It was a silence that promised to remain for a very, very long time. Is that an end? I'd like it to be an end. Game over. Okay. Um, I'm expecting today to be the day we, we are going to be finding a bunch of things to unlock to let us go through other parts of the game. Because there's a lot we don't know. But, we go here, and we're going to the other door. This was the blue door. Now we're doing the other door. And we, we went through with Quark. I'm assuming red? I'll take Dio. That means the red door for us. Whoa. Betting on the dark horse, huh? Feels kind of weird to say that about myself. Anyway, might as well be polite. Thank you. Are you okay with that, Clover? Well, I don't really trust him, but if Alice really wants to go with option B... Yes, this works fine. K, Tenmyoji, and I will take the green door. It's not great, but it's better than Dio. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> it's Willing better than Dio. B. Quark should be fine if he's with Luna. Okay. I'll take good care of him. I promise. What about Fi and K? No problems here. I'll take Quark and Luna and we'll do the blue door. I also approve of option B. I will take the green door, correct? Yeah, good. Uh, looks like we're all set. That means the one we could not do is the green door. K nodded and handed Quark gently to Luna. Ten seconds remain until chromatic door. Well, I guess he is a kid. I was like, he handed the kid to Luna. She must be pretty strong. Come on, guys, hurry! The door is already closing. Coming. Yeah. I know. I know. With seconds to spare, we leapt across the threshold. Two, one, zero. Chromatic doors closing. Oh, the back of it. That was more like a brown. Oh! That reminds me. Before we keep going, make sure I disable. I'm gonna disable FLUX before, so I don't forget. That way you guys don't have like some muddled color. I don't think you guys get that. Maybe it's just on my screen, but still. What is this? There's three different doors. Which one do we take? Dunno, but it looks like they're all locked anyway. Pull the lever, so crunk. This is a dead end. Great. Wrong lever. What's this thing? Oh, it's got a lever on it. Don't get too attached. It's probably a lever. <laughs> yeah, pretty good, huh? Am I great or what? Huh? Huh? Ah. Uh, hey, Sigma, is this chick simple or something? <laughs> I wouldn't rule it out. Uh, let's just take it easy with her, okay? Why are we being chummy with Dio? Stop. Hey! What kind of a gentleman has a secret conversation in front of a lady? I guess it can't be helped, though. You boys just secrete secrets. Don't use the word secrete with that pose. 
<laughs> and don't just start laughing either. It doesn't help. Oh man, I'm good. Sigma, please let me give her a smack. <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Now, what if it only makes her worse? Well, I think that's enough genius comedy for now. Yeah. How about we throw that we already have spiff. Oh, you said we should stay away from it. Well, you don't really think anything bad's gonna happen if you pull it, do you? Besides, it's not like we can go back. Fine. I'll do it. Ready? Here we go! Explosions! Or a door opens. Hmm? The center one opened. Looks like the others are still locked, though. Through the center one, then. Forward! Forward! Yeah, actually talking to Dio feels really weird. And he's, like, giving us the bro whispers. He's like, Dude. Do, do you think she... Do you think she'd say yes if we asked her on a date? Do, do you, don't worry about it, man. No, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> Without warning, I uh, watched her. Dio and I glanced at her. Yeah, we got it. We already did the, there has not been a good, it's okay, Dio, we like you thing. None of that's happened ever. And I doubt it will. Hmm. Oh, and uh, randomly, this one looks fun. Well, it said laboratory on the door, didn't it? I figure that means they're dissecting frogs or building mind rays or something. Mind rays? Do you think they might research stuff like viruses here? I wanted to look at this. Okay, no. I was like, is this our last regular branch? We still got the big branch up on top, and then the two branches on this branch. So we're getting some more information in this room. Good idea. We might be able to find some of that axillavar. If we do, we can cure Quark. <laughs> you really think it'll be that easy? Yes. Somebody's a positive thinker. I am. Shut it. Just saying. This place hasn't exactly been set up for us to succeed so far. Well, we won't know until we look. Let's get started. Hajimeo. Yeah, why not? It's a video game. Anything can happen in a video game. Even easy answers. You know, just... Just go goats. Easy answer. What is this? The replicator? <laughs> There's something on this tray. Empty capsule. Okay. Looks like a ball. Supposed to stick this metal part into something? It's seeds. A cylinder full of seeds. They're thin and don't have any markings. Can I fill this up? No. I doubted I could. I wanted to try. A binder. Paper. Steps for dissecting a frog. Two pieces of paper. Hydroponics research one and two. Okay, that's the one that had memory card on it. Let's read Steps for Dissecting a Frog. Remove the specimen from its preserving ethanol. Dispose of the ethanol by pouring it down the drain in the fume cupboard. The ethanol will be filtered and gathered in the liquid waste tank beneath the cupboard. Begin dissection using provided scalpel. Be sure to conduct your discussion inside the fume cupboard. Okay. Preparation of hydroponic fluid and seeds. Preparation the Prepare the five different hydroponic fluids. Dilute with ratio one part fluid, ten parts water. Each fluid has a distinct color. Preparation two, prepare the five types of plant seeds. Two long, three round. Research has shown that there is a distinct and repeatable relationship between the fluid used and the type of seed. These relationships can be characterized in the following manner. The long seeds fail to germinate in three of the fluids. Oh god. The brown seeds in fluid B and fluid D fail to germinate. None of the marked seeds germinated if put in fluid C. None non-marked seeds failed to germinate in fluid A or fluid B. 
When the striped seeds were put into fluid D and fluid E, one of them failed to germinate. Hmm. It's gonna be one of those things where I have to read that and make like a chart, I feel. So if I hit this, strange machine, we don't know what it does, so it's probably best to leave it alone. Good plan. I was clicking way back here. Okay, fine. Okay, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, is this the fume thing? Oh, round seeds? Okay, we got our, we got our round seeds and our long seeds. Some kind of waste tank? What did she say? That was bad. It looks like a thigh tank. I don't get that one. Why'd they put a speaker? It's a drain. What's wrong with you? Oh my gosh. Scalpel and a sun. Pretty fancy tray. Is that a cat playing with a ball of yarn? It's a lion. How are you not kitten that? Whenever I try, yeah, okay. That's pretty weird. Uh, we know, we know, we know. That's the door to get out. And that's the end, that's the end of this side. There's more over here though. Here we go. Cylinder for, so these are marked seeds? Is what I guess they understand? Marked, do we get any of these beakers? These are like something I put specimens in. There's nothing in them right now. There's something in that one. Roots! Whee! A dead, it's a root. Maybe it's a fake beard. I can see that. You ever seen a person with a beard like this? Yeah, they're usually crazy. My grandpa had one. It looks like a root. It's probably some kind of preserved specimen. This is colored. Saline solution. Did you really just take a sip of that? I, I know she dyes her hair now. That ain't pink. You worry too much. I just pretended to drink it. And how'd you know it's saline solution? It says on the other side. Okay, that was pretty clever. Not gonna lie. Froggo! Oh, wait. What was that name? That was a pretty good name. It smells like disinfectant. What was that name? Lord Hoppington. That's what I thought. It's a pretty good name. Okay, went left first time. Let's go right. What is this? Oh, more seeds. One half is colored, the other half is not. It's black. There's nothing going on here. Microscope. I tried looking in the eyepiece, but it's pitch black. Well, there are these four holes on top. Maybe we need to stick something in them. We put the seeds in there? It's not, because right now we have seeds, the root, some saline solution, scalpel, and the frog. Kermit the frog. Kermit the frog. More seeds. They have thin enough stripes. Looks like the top of some sort is industrial strength lid. Oh, it's a mixer. Yeah, mixer, blender. Joy, thank you for the host. I don't think you'd use it cooking, though. Maybe it's for scientific experiment. We are in a lab. Probably pulverize just about anything we want with this heavy duty thing. Can we pulverize seeds? 